What's going on, everybody? Jose Avila, South Chuck Shostillo, LLC. We're here in the heart of the valley down in Texas. Right now, I'm here hanging out outside with my daughters. Hi. We got Jamila over there, six years old. We got Ariana over here, about four years old. Let me see. All right, man, but yeah, I just want to touch base with everybody right quick about a couple of things. Um, I've been thinking, I've been wanting to start uh, three different topics. I guess we'll start with the first one before we jump into it and get all get all crazy I have a tendency to not be able to to keep my pace sometimes but uh see I would like to start uh, interview uh, section of this channel you know where I do some lengthier videos and then maybe break them down chop them down into into YouTube shorts you know some in English some in Spanish um, just kind of going over uh, the different uh, trades you know there's uh, pipe fitters there's still erectors um, there's riggers, crane operators, you know, there's all these refinery and plant workers. Um, there's uh, millwrights, you know, there's pipeliners, people that, that that travel for work and stuff like that. And then there's the more um, residential side of it, you know, where they do uh, gazebos and carports and uh, shingle roofs and metal roofs and re remodeling and all those different things, demolitions. Uh, but I like to talk to people and see... Um, how they got into the trade, where they're at, what they're looking to get out of the trade, if they're just looking for a nine to five or if they're really looking to, to fulfill something else and pull something out of this or just, you know, catch up with people, see how, how they got to where they are in the trade. And then, of course, if anybody would like to ask me questions back, you know, um, um, that's the I want to start a conversation with the with the the people within a, a common trade. You know, we're steel erectors, um, iron workers. So uh, we do a lot of uh, work with heavy lifting of, of steel that you know weighs hundreds if not thousands of pounds. We're using heavy machinery to pick up these things and, and, and I, I would just like to kind of reflect back on my past and the past jobs that I've done, the experience and the knowledge that I've gained and be able to kind of put it forward to the people um, out here on YouTube can watch it and can kind of um, you know gain a little bit of knowledge maybe or just hear a cool story. Uh, between me and then maybe a counterpart on the other side of whatever we would be talking about uh, But that was one thing I do would like I would like to start either doing it um, I put out a couple of YouTube shorts. Maybe someone will watch this video and and, uh, and um, Hit me up and maybe we can start working on something um, I would like to I'm gonna have it more delegated and more broken down more situational So it's not gonna be just me here thinking um, um, all that, you know I'll have some questions ready of course depending on who I'm talking to uh, I'm I'm reaching out uh, to this YouTuber, um, my welding coach, I believe is is his name on on YouTube. I'll try and put I'll try and put his link in the description here on this on this video. But um, he spits a lot of knowledge, man. He's this dude. I think he's out of Arkansas, um, uh, a little bit older than me, it looks like. Uh, but man, this guy, I just by looking at his posts, by watching his videos, his little shorts, man, this guy is just on on the ball. He's trying to get people placed into jobs and to make sure that that this newer generation is is fulfilling the the jobs in in need you know that that we're not going to be opted out to some type of machine to do our welding or anything like that um he's making sure that these guys are learning a lot of mig and a lot of flux and stuff like that because they are uh more economical when it comes to shop welding and stuff like that and even on the field you know they use this 323 gas that's wire now um so it's it's flux cords it's it's really good you know they use it now so these moment welds become real easy work when you have that but of course you got to have that whole suitcase set up and the whole the whole rigging that goes with it but regardless man that guy i'm trying to get in contact with him i've sent him a couple messages and i'm gonna wait and see if he gets back to me we're gonna be prayers up you know that he does get back to me maybe we can do like a zoom call a meeting or or something that way we can get some content out for you guys and see kind of where he stands in the whole welding um field in the whole trade and then um we can kind of find our position in that as well you know me i'm just uh I'm 31 years old. I own and operate this company. I would really like to be able to grow this company into something bigger that I could leave to my kids and even their kids, you know, one day, uh, generational wealth. Um, not necessarily do I want all my, my babies over there bolting up and splitting holes, but I want them to learn the industry. I want them to learn the terminology and understand that, you know, um, you can always sell some work. If there's something that, that you do, you, you, you could sell some work and, and it's pretty beneficial for us uh, to start while my kids are young and uh, while I'm still young. Um, to try and make this work so that's my end goal is to be able to build south structural steel llc into a, a bigger company than it is already you know we're four years in going on five years in and then we're doing uh, plenty good 
right now doing commercial work and we've moved all the way from residential to commercial work and now we're uh, subcontracting on our own rights you know we used to be a sub subcontractor and things like that so so little by little uh, one one foot in front of the other and little by little we're, we're getting our traction and we're getting moving and of course with this YouTube channel you know we have uh, 400 uh, 404 405 subscribers at this point in time I'm recording this you know so all those eyes and ears are just another way of me getting word of mouth out there free marketing of me if you guys watch these videos if you share them if you like and subscribe you know that helps us a lot um, so either way I want to kind of touch base with everybody on that as I want to be doing um, topic number one would be I want to be doing some interviews I want to interview uh, you know Mexicanos Latinos the 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 la, la Latino America the, the America the Sur Sur America de allá uh, Hondureños Ecuador um, Colombia um, Guatemala um, lo que sea wherever really I want to talk to anybody and then of course there's people here from the states where or if you're from somewhere else and you know English shit I want to talk to you man I would really want to conversate with you I would say just English and Spanish that's only so only uh, only languages I know. I'm only bilingual, so um, I would like to maybe we can do something with somebody else that maybe watches these and understands me, but I don't understand them. Maybe we can use like a Google Translate or something. Um, so uh, the other topic was gonna be I want to start like a like a welding program or like an iron working program, more like a steel erection program or rig rigging program out here in the valley, more local to me, and maybe even something online that people can buy or purchase um, or maybe play like a month to month basis I'm not too sure yet it's just a thought in my head um, to kind of get um, some information on how would you start uh, becoming a steel erector whether or not you're going to be your own self contractor subcontractor like myself or if you're going to be working for somebody else um, you know I did it for years you know and that's how I gained all my knowledge really and it was just a blessing in disguise uh, me not going to college but going into the field and being in the trade um, round full of journeymen and tradesmen that actually knew the stuff that was able to that was able to help so i really want to be able to kind of pass that on um and of course i would like to start something hands-on um when i was younger i joined the union you know and i really like the union there's a lot of things i like about the union a lot of things i don't like about the union i don't say i don't like about them um, but there everything has their pros and cons in life you know everything does have their pros and cons so um just like everything else in life the union had those for me and in, in my perception of that i think that they had some pros and some cons as well and uh, you know the pros man they taught me so much man they, they they put a fire under my ass to be a good worker and showed me kind of um the bar to kind of be at least set and then if you want to go above that you can do that amongst yourself but i really i really have a lot of importance a lot of value inside of that and that schooling that they gave me and you know they had they call it punk school apprenticeship school uh but whatever what it's called the fact of the matter is you can learn a lot through there i ended up i actually didn't go through that school i did everything out in the field and becoming a journeyman just by over time working in the field so um i really do appreciate the guys and i did see where i fell short maybe out there um, back then when I, I was having to learn on the job site when those guys that were going to the apprenticeship program had already learned and it was a little bit easier for them because they were going to school and learning these things out of a book rather than having to pick it up on the job site I'm not going to say that i didn't learn man i learned a tremendous amount on the job site and like i said sometimes i i, I do um talk against college just because that wasn't the traditional route that i took so i i would say that you know if i can make um if i can make something out of myself i don't think that i'm pretty special i think anybody can do the same thing so so trade schools and things like that of that nature and i want to i know the the place that i went to stvt they they no longer offer um welding or if they do it's just combination welding it's not even they don't they don't focus on like a pipelining they don't focus on like a, a migs or anything like that they're they're just kind of a combination they think you get like a couple months to learn everything and uh i'd literally like to focus on a lot of structural welding the rigging of the steel the connecting of the steel the walking of the iron um the rigging of the joists and all that type of good stuff laying out sheet metal uh, decking corrugated decking welding the decking everything that isn't that is in titled in our project our scope of work i would like to kind of teach it put it into a program either here online or here in the physical uh, world here close to me home, home base and do that and the uh, other thing would be i want to start doing some merch you know i want to start pushing this brand a little bit more i don't know if i'm going to change the name of the welding channel um i'm thinking about changing it you know iron workers uh then 956 or something um or uh valley iron worker rgb iron workers or something some, some something cool something catchy I'm not too sure what I want to do there yet, but I do want to start selling merch. Um, right now, we got these. 
These are, these are something that I've had for a while now. I purchased it for me and my right hand guy. Um, but I haven't really, I did a little video when I got them, but you know, here you go, right there. Let's turn it around, see if you can see that. So it's just South Structural Steel with a GOAT and uh, the TX for Texas, you know, the GOAT greatest all time, you know. Um, we gotta keep, keep it in our forefront that we're trying to do our best, we do our due diligence, try to do our best all the time and uh, be our best versions of ourselves. So I put the GOAT there to kind of signify that. Um, and then on the back, uh, Puro Pa Adelante, if you can see it on there, it might be reversed actually, but it says Puro Pa Adelante, uh, Puro 956 a la verga. You know, so just uh, a, a little a little dicho on the back of there, just saying, you know, we're always pushing forward and always remembering where I came from, you know, here in the 956. So, um, and I really have a lot of love for, for where I came from. So put down the back of this, but yeah, I want to start making these and selling these. So if anybody is interested, I'm going to be making some of these and we're going to put them on the store as soon as we were able to, you know, as soon as we're monetizable and we have the el el eligibility, excuse me, eligibility met, then we'll definitely go ahead and do that. Um, I want to get some shirts made, you know, um, I do like the style of these car show shirts, you know, like um, Project Torque, Chuy Ramirez on the gas type of style and things like that, Super Toys. Um, I like all these different things that um, where it's like an animated version of a realistic uh, vehicle. So I have a couple different ideas that I want to do. I have the Mustang, back there um you know it's an all black dot mustang with the red air air intake and the red bay and the in the, in the engine bay um red interior so like i said last time in another video i want to do like a red bleeding heart in the back corazon del valle the whole thing you know because the heart of the valley is called donna texas that's our little saying that we're so i want to i want to make that the, the heart of the valley kind of little style of the vehicle name it corazon del valle name it the heart of the valley the vehicle and I want to burn red tires on there and all that good stuff but I have a couple ideas for some shirts that I want to do I want to have uh, that shirt burning red red rubber burning into uh, like an I-beam or a structural steel member with a guy burning um, burning rubber and, and burning rod you know at the same time quemando varia quemando llanta so there's certain things I want to do I want to involve certain people you know I have a, a mechanic Joe out there in Westaco Texas integrated uh, integrated performance uh, out there so they're the ones that work on my dually and um, they work on my Mustang as well we're actually going to be hopefully within the year dropping an EcoBoost uh, engine into this one taking out this six cylinder and dropping an EcoBoost engine in there and trying to do uh, something cool something that no one else has here in the valley as for that so yeah just a couple things coming up you know i'd like to do some interviews if anybody wants to be interviewed if you want to have a chat with me we can do that um you can have some questions for me and i can have some questions for you and do something small that we can break down into like a one minute segment and do like a longer version over here and then uh, i want to do some schooling some type of programming so we can try and start teaching people get the younger generation um up on something like this because you know you know traditional schooling doesn't always talk about these trades like this and they don't always they don't always shine the brightest of the light and they don't always make it seem the best um, to be working with our hands, you know, and there's a lot of honor and a lot of value to be taught with working with your hands. Um, and then uh, once again, I want to do some merch, you know, I want to start selling some chains like this, you know, if you guys want some South Structural Steel merch, um, you know, like I said, I might change it. I might change it from the South Structural Steel to Iron Workers at 956. I might make some like this with, uh, with the Corazon del Valle. Um, little different things i'm gonna start making some hats you know different things like that i'm gonna definitely start doing some different things um because i want to be able to push this brand harder and um you know bring it full circle to where we got um we have a way for people to watch us online and then you know if you guys learn some good skills maybe you can do the schooling learn some good skills get some job placement out here in the real world with us in a different project um you know we can do that i think that'd be pretty cool because we would actually be involving ourselves with the community with the people that watch our channel um so and you know this is just me you know a lot of times you guys see me just on this uh on these videos but um it's it's more than just me out here you know i do uh this uh videos a lot but like i said i got i got my kids around me for the majority of the time and when i'm out there on the road you know mosky uh more money more problems he's over there always always mosquito you know he's always been a, a very big help to me since i met him um, so my right hand guy right there, man, that dude is a is a, a pleasure to be around and he's a, a, a real, real big, uh, valuable part of this company and of this channel, um, whether or not you see him on here or not, you know, he does a lot for me, um, you know, and then my wife as well, Hasmina, you know, my beautiful wife, um, damn, you know, she does more than anybody could actually uh, understand probably, you know, uh, she's a fucking big motivating factor for me to keep pushing forward. Um, and she, she's helped me tremendously with the bookkeeping, with the money situation, everything, just to make sure we succeed. So, 
Uh, regardless, um, um, there's a lot of people behind this channel trying to make sure that this succeeds, trying to make sure that South Structural Steel LLC succeeds. So if you guys like these type of videos, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, share it with your friends and family. You know, sooner or later, I'm going to have some more content with that, um, with that Mustang of mine. I'll definitely have some more content with that Mustang. I'm going to be... Doing a couple different things to it. Like I said, I want to be putting that EcoBoost motor in there with Joe out at Integrated Performance. So, got a couple different things we want to do that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be getting to. I talked about it last time on another video. I think it was in Spanish, so it might not have been in English. But I want to take off the glass pack here. Either do another glass pack with uh, with a dual exhaust. I don't know if I want it here in the back anymore. Or if I want to put it here on the side somewhere, something cool. Don't know if I'm going to leave this blacked out or if I'm going to put something cool. I've seen this dude that makes the emblems that light up with the application. He was at Bandas y Trocas over there in Atlanta this weekend. So I'm going to see maybe if I can get in contact with that guy on Instagram or on Facebook or something. And see if he can make me an emblem that changes. And maybe we can have a South Structure Steel emblem in here or something cool. You know, um, again, I want to get the tint is going to be taken off. I have my homeboy over there. I forget his name right now. I'm sorry, but at the Pulga de Alamo, the second entrance right underneath the, the main sign, he does tint over there. So he's gonna go ahead and do my tint. He's actually the one that did the tint on my wife's car, did the tint on my truck over there, and uh, did the tint on this car. But it's been uh, about five years or so. So this thing's been sitting in the sun for like a like a, a year, probably like six months to a year. So I wanna get this taken off, get a really nice decal of a bleeding heart right there. Um, a pumping bleeding heart i want to get some different tires i'm going to do either a wrap or a dip on these wheels i want to leave the wheels um do some different tires the ones that burn red in the back um like i said last time we got the red engine bay eventually when we take this out to put the new one in i will be painting the whole inside to match you know more of like a blood red type of thing like this we'll be doing a whole new uh, cold air intake um you know a lot nicer that's a little bit of chaffa but we're gonna be doing the whole nine yards next time. We'll be taking off all these temporary bands to hold this up. We're gonna be taking off this whole uh, sides right here, getting them all brand new. Like I said last time, I'm thinking about taking out these lights, maybe putting a mount for some GoPros or something in there. Um, not too sure what I'm gonna do there yet, but I wanna do something cool in this little front area. Um, and also I wanna go whole Mad Max style kind of demolition derby slash uh, burnout wars on the front i want to take this off and then i want to order uh, some steel so i can make fab one identical but out of out of cold rolled steel so it'd be nice and nice and tough when we get up into the burn pits so you know i want to do a couple different things with this vehicle um, we're going to get there slowly but surely everything's a process but if this is the type of videos longer versions go ahead like subscribe comment down below let me know what y'all think if um you know anybody that wants to be on camera that don't mind uh, getting asked some questions uh, getting on an interview if you know somebody that would like to sign up for a program either here online where we can kind of give you some education um, educational resources online about uh, iron working steel erection rigging certified welding structural welding and then also the merch if you guys are down for some merch let me know i'm going to keep pushing this brand y'all keep staying safe keep your head up keep marching forward and stay blessed most of all catch you later Bye.